you see when you look around? Everyone take a look around. Of course, you see teens and peers, but what I see is that this room has been illuminated with the brilliance and energy everyone brought in here. I see contributors to our earth. My interest in the environment started when I was in elementary school. My grandmother had this beautiful garden with all kinds of exotic fruit trees and monarch butterflies, and my grandfather, he loved to fish and hike. So I would often help out in the garden or go on his little fishing trips with him by the nearby lake. I visited that lake a few years later. It was fenced off by the fishing industry and the water was black with pollutants. And from that moment, I forced myself to spring into action. We are the generation of problem solvers. We already know to recycle papers and plastics and to turn off lights when no one's in the room. But I would say we are more innovative and resourceful than that, that we can come up with better, newer solutions. And it starts simply. When you walk into a room, you shouldn't turn on the air conditioner or the heater. Instead, just open windows or bundle up. The average homeowner spends $1,000 a year to heat or cool their home. Not only will we save money, but we'll prevent the 3,500 pounds of carbon dioxide and 31 pounds of sulfur dioxide it takes to run it. And instead of taking those long, thoughtful showers, take instead what we like to call Navy showers and save the shower thoughts for another time. I know, if you don't take those long showers, you won't be able to develop your scientific breakthroughs and answers to the meaning of life. But also keep in mind that the average 10-minute shower uses 40 gallons of water and the average bath uses 70 gallons. I'm from Los Angeles, and right now the weather there is unbearably hot. So we're running out of water. Some say we have just enough for a year supply. So most residents there are switching to drought tolerant plants, which by the way, are not just cacti. But we can't just not use water. Greenhouse gas buildup leads to hotter weather. Thus people need more water to keep themselves cool and hydrated. That creates what seems to be an almost endless cycle, or what we like to call a positive feedback loop. But the list for what we can do is endless too. We can switch to LED light bulbs, compost, raise worms, use reusable water bottles, bike or walk, carpool, shop locally, use reusable grocery bags. Remember when I asked you to look around the room? The answer to that should be clear now. This is a room full of contributors to the earth. Adults right now are doing a magnificent job at promoting sustainability, but we will be the ones to take charge next. So we have to show them that we are capable, we are intelligent. We have to show them that teens are better at everything. <laughs>